All right, today we're going to talk about uh, Polaris engine braking and what what that means and what components you must have to have engine braking. I had a customer today asked me to make a little short video on it to explain it. We have a tech article on our website, but I'll go into a little more detail, maybe some visual effects um, to help you out understanding it. To technically have engine braking on any of the Polaris vehicles, you have to have two components. Those two components are an EBS style secondary clutch with a removable helix and a one-way bearing and primary clutch. That is the bearing in the center of the clutch will only turn one way. If you don't have both, technically you don't have engine braking. For the record, there has never been an XP1000 or XP900 Razor of any of their models, high lifters or whatever, that's ever had engine braking on it. Now they have an EBS style secondary, but not a one way. And there's other vehicles that have it, but if your secondary clutch does not have a helix that can be removed out the rear, you do not have it. I don't care what anybody says. So anyway, let's, let's move on to what it is. So how engine braking works is this, is that it, let's just take this Razor 1000 right here, if, if I had a one way bearing in it, but 50 miles an hour running down a road, you let off the gas. You have engine braking. Why? Because you have enough engine RPM to keep it, which your primary is not on here, but to keep the primary clutch engaged on the belt. So it's just like a manual car, truck, or whatever that you let off the gas, you're in gear and the engine's helping you brake. All right, now once you get down to roughly 10 or 15 miles an hour, then there's not enough engine RPM to keep the primary clutch engaged. So the way they did it is, is they have a, what they call an EBS helix. Now this is actually out of a Razor 570, but it'll, you'll still get the point. So your, your clutch, as you are, are speeding up, that roller inside rolls up. And then when you slow down, it kind of switch sides. All right, and then as it rolls in, this area here, this notch, is called an EBS notch. And so the roller rolls in here, and essentially what it does is it kind of slams the, the secondary clutch closed, pushing the belt up and down in the primary, and you get this downshift feel like a manual car that you dropped a gear. And what that did is, is before the primary clutch had, did not have enough engine RPM to hold itself closed, right before that occurred, this happens, picks RPM up, and it makes it stay uh, onto the belt so you continue to get that engine braking. All right, so once it gets down to the five mile an hour-ish mark, there's simply not enough uh, engine RPM to keep that primary closed on your belt so it opens up and your belt drops down on the center bearing. And if you have a model with engine braking, then that bearing won't turn forward. And so that's why you get engine braking from that spot on. Okay, so there's models that have no engine braking and they'll free wheel at 10 or 15. There's models with EBS secondaries that will give engine braking down to the four or five mile an hour mark and then free wheel. So it all depends on which model you have. Also, it can be retrofitted into some models or most models. It, uh, it can get very confusing because all the year models and three or four different secondaries and that's kind of my job. So once again, if you need to know something, you can contact me, shoot me an email, but you can add it to just a, a good many and some we just can't. Uh, also, if you're a slow guy, the Dura Clutch system that we sell is always a awesome option if you want to add it because you get a lot of the feature side engine brake but that's, that's getting that's taking a rabbit down another trail um, so so just to run through it just quickly the way it works 50 mile an hour belts engaged everything's lovely come on down get a 10 or 15 roller rolls in here slams this shut brings rpm up you still got it and then drops out at four or five and if you got a one way it drops down and you continue uh, like I said, if you got a two-way, that's when you're going to start freewheeling. But don't hold me to all these 
speeds because if you've got a brand spanking new vehicle, you'll swear it has engine braking all the way down. No, it doesn't. Just give it time because that clutch is going to wear, the belt's going to wear, and then that clutch cannot grab that belt because it doesn't have it. You know, people go, well, my turbo's got engine braking. No, it don't. It's got a two-way bearing in it. It's the same thing. Over time, that'll start happening. Uh, so hopefully, this gives you just a, a good indicator or, or lesson, if you will, on what engine braking means and the components necessary to make it happen. Uh, again, if you got questions on this, give us a holler. You can handle it in email. Please do. Um, didn't ask you the first part of the video, but please subscribe to our videos. It should be a little red thing. You may not even read right here. You can hit subscribe or down below. Here's a big one on YouTube and right up in this corner should be a little eye maybe. With a, you can click on it and a link will pop up to us. And down in the description, there's a link. I always tell people, if you can't find us from our YouTube videos, you're not <laughs> looking very hard. But uh, listen, I do appreciate you guys. Thank him for his suggestion on the video. If we can help you, holler.